Hi guys, Stanton here from Algo Trading and welcome to another edition of Algo Trading Live. Today I'm presenting to you my new EA um, for Bybit MT5. It's called the BTC Sculper. So let's get into it. Okay, so the reason why I created this EA, the Bybit, the BTC Sculper, is because a lot of my EAs are, I call them more professional style EAs. So if you look at my uh, multifarious EA, if you go, if you test that and you go to the inputs, um, you'll see there's a lot of inputs. I mean, and this could be quite daunting for somebody new, somebody getting into sort of algo trading, you know, to understand what all of these do. If you don't understand the indicators or what grid trading does or moving averages, if you don't in understand any of these things, um, you know, it will be quite daunting to get into this um, for your first time. So the reason why I created the, the Bybit Sculper or the BTC Sculper is, is because it has very few settings and quite easy to, to use. I'm just going to open up that quickly and we'll go through the imports. But if I could show you, um, I loaded it probably two days ago. Um, I just want to show you, since I've loaded it, what sort of results we've been getting. Um, you can see it's about here, ETC Scalper, so about here. So I mean, you could see how many winning trades it's had with very few losing trades. I mean, I had three in a row there, but I mean, that is expected to sometimes have losing trades. But I mean, generally, it has been doing very, very well over the last couple of days. So you could compare the winning trades to the losing trades, and it's been performing very, very well. Okay, so let's get into the, the settings, the inputs. So again, what I can say is I wanted to make it a very simple EA. So I've reduced the number of inputs and sort of like whittled it down to a single strategy that you could configure. So the basic strategy is it's an RSA, RSI breakout strategy. So if you look here, you see I've got my RSI. Um, I'm using the 11 pair, but you could lose, use whatever you want. So when it breaks up above the 60, we're going to look for buys. If it breaks down below the 40, we're going to look for sells. And I'm also using two exponential moving averages as sort of a trend trend confluence. So let's go through the settings. So these are the main settings of the year. You don't really have to worry about any of these. So this is just a comment. So if you want to change your comment, what it writes in your comment block, you could change that. Magic number is very important. A magic number must always be unique across all your algos. So if your magic number is not unique, then the MT5 doesn't know which algo to run the sort of um, the um, program against, or, or doesn't know what what EA is calling these sort of functions. So it will normally break. So what I do normally with a magic number is I set it to the date and time. So I'll set it to 2024 09 19 2016. Just so you know that you know it will always be unique. Okay, the print log is. Essentially, it's just a, a, a debugger or a, or a log of all the activities will take place. So if you say print log is all true, you will see uh, in your journal, there's a whole bunch of log entries here. It says buy, sell, you know, it tells you everything that's sort of happening with the EA. If there's any errors as well, it will load the errors as well. Um, but if you're running in a VPS like I am, you will see your logs here. So it's saying it's modified the stop loss, closed the position, so it keeps all the logs. But what's very important about this is that if there's any errors, you'll see the errors and you'll understand why those errors are happening and you know how you would fix those errors. Um, so that's the the logs. This is quite important, the, the max buy by sell position. So if you're more, more risk adverse, What's going to happen with this EA, depending on what time frame you run it on, but it's going to open up, look to open up at this position every five minutes. So if you're in a buy, um, a buy scenario, every five minutes it will open up a buy. So this is saying like only allow three symbol max buy positions. 
and only allow three max cell positions. You could change this to whatever you want. You could put it as one and one if you just want to have one by one cell, or you could put it to 10. If you want to have 10 positions open at the same time, you could do that. But this has really got to do with your, your risk tolerance, because the more you put it up, the more positions it's going to take, the more profit you can make, but also the more losses you can make. So just bear that in mind. Close opposite position. This, this means that if you want to buy a position and a sell opens up, it will close the buy position. I normally just keep it to false, but it is an option, you know, if you want to trade that way. So every time it opens up a buy, um, close the sell, or every time it opens up a sell, close the buy, you have the option to do that. Trade on new bar. This is basically says what it says. It says only look for new trades on the open of a new bar. Um, I always set this to true. I never ever turn this to false, but it also gives you the option that you could trade multiple times in a single bar. But also what that means is that you could lose multiple times in a single bar and you could win multiple times in a single bar. So you need to do back testing of that. Personally, I will only leave this to true, but if you want to sort of do more of a high frequency trading style, um, trade on the one minute chart and do multiple trades per bar, you have the option to do that, but you just need to back test it um, yourself just to make sure that because I have had circumstances before where it's literally wiped me out completely having this turned off in a single bar. Okay. Now you've got your money, man man money management section. I'm not going to go through this too much. Everybody knows what a stop loss is. Everyone knows what take profit means. Uh, a trailing stop. Do you want to use a trailing stop? These are your trailing stop parameters. Your trailing stop in pips is that when will that trailing stop start? So if your, if your price or your, or your trade moves into 100 pips profit, the trailing stop will, um, stop will start. And then every time... And your steps is every time it gets to 13,000 pips, it will move another 100 pips up. That's basically what happens. This year, also very important to your risk in percentage or free margin. So basically you have the option of either a constant lot or risk in percentage of free margin. You could take your choice. So if you use a constant lot um, and then you fill in this field, it will always trade 0 0.01. No matter how much money you make or how much money you lose, it will always trade 0.01. So what I like to do is use um, risk in percentage of free margin. So that way, you know, you don't have to keep topping up or changing the EA every time you earn more money. Or, um, you know, when you start losing, you don't have to change the EA to reduce your lot size as well because it does it automatically for you. So right now I'm risk risking 10% of my free margin per trace. Um, let me show you what free margin is. If you go to your toolbox, uh, you see your trades. You see uh, I've got a balance is currently $341, but my free margin is only $269 because currently I'm using $38 of margin. So it will only risk 10% of what you have free here. So that is 10% of your free margin. So it won't risk 10% of your balance, but will only risk 10% of your free margin, which is a much better way of doing it. Now, um, let's just go through the rest of it. And you could put whatever you want, 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever you feel comfortable with trading. So what this actually does is it sees what your stop loss is, and then does the calculations, so it works out that if it hits your stop loss, based on your volume, you will only lose 10% of your free margin. So adjust will adjust your volume to make sure that if it hits your stop loss, you will only lose 10% of your free margin. Okay, and now for the indicators, I've left it very simple. The only thing you could change on the moving average is what time frame you want the moving average to be checked against. Um, and I find like playing with the time frames, it helps like, you know, if you're gonna, but this is also the power of MT5 is that you can actually check the time frames on the two minute chart, the moving averages on the two minute chart and trade on the five minute chart. Or you could check the, the moving averages on the hourly chart or the daily chart, but still trade, take a trade every five minutes. So this is the power of MT5. This is, um, so I've, this is the only option that you could change when it comes to the moving averages. 
the RSI, I've also changed your averaging period. Um, if you guys don't know what averaging period is, if you look at your RSI, you'll see there's, this is the RSI 11, and it's on the five minute chart because I'm running on the five minute chart, but you could change that to whatever you want, two period up to 20, you know, so you could choose your RSI averaging period, and then also the time frame you want the RSI to be checked on. And these I've put in just, you know, as a sort of precautionary, you know, some people, you might need them. I've done back tests using them, but I don't, I haven't found any differences in the result. But these are extreme level trading. So this is a breakout strategy. So when it goes above 60, it's going to look for a buy. But the thing is that at some point, it's the market is going to come down a little bit, like you see here. Um, now, you could say, like, if it, go, if it goes above 60, take a trade. But if it gets above 90, stop taking trades or if it goes below 30 or 10 or whatever you want on the rsi stop taking trades and it's just it's just a way of like especially if you're trading on the daily chart or any other um you know higher time frames you actually just wanted to stop trading when it reaches those sort of extreme levels because it is going to pull back and if it pulls back big enough it's going to hit your stop losses over here so that's just a little protection and then also i've put in a protection so but this is a, a look back so so it's saying that if your candle so i'm using seven candles if your candle is the highest candle in seven candles don't take a trade or if you say if the candle is the highest in two candles don't take a trade but then again this is a breakout strategy um and you you generally are trading on the highest candle constantly so but, you know, there might be a use for it for people. Um, people have asked me to put it in, and I've put it in, so so it's in. But, yeah, I haven't found use for the extreme levels because I find with momentum strategies, you're actually trading at those extreme levels, and you just want to take out a few pips out of the market and then close the trade and try to do it before it turns around. Okay, so that is the BTC Scalper. Um, now you guys want to know how you get the BTC Scalper. I've added it to your the NT5 store. So it's available directly in your MetaTrader 5 terminal. So you just click on Market, Experts, go to the Search tab, and you could just search Bybit. And then you'll see there's my, my Bulbit, my Bybit Multifarious EA, and there's my Bybit uh, BTC Scalper. You click on it, you could buy directly with inside your your MT5 terminal. You could download a demo if you want. You cannot trade live on a demo, but you can back test it if you want. Uh, back test it. If you have a demo account, you could trade it on a demo account. Or you could try it out for a month for half the price and see if you like it. But if you buy, you could buy however many ways you want. There's a few ways to, to pay for it. Um, once you buy it, it will appear directly in your Expert Advisors tab here. It will appear um, at the bottom here somewhere. So you buy, it will download automatically for you. And the nice thing about this as well is that every time I make an update to the program, you, um, you'll get a notification that the EA has been updated and it will allow you to update the version. All right, so that is the BTC Scalper. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, also, if you guys use my Bybit affiliate link at the bottom, deposit $100 and send me your UID, either in our Telegram group or uh, if you want to mail me, whatever. If you send me your UID, I will send you all of my Bybit EAs for free. So you could use them for life, for free, but just send me your um, all you got to do is just use the affiliation link below, register with Bybit, get your MT5 um, account sorted. I have videos on how to set up all of that. Um, send me your UID and I will send you all of these EAs absolutely free. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good night. Cheers.